right, so here's a question for you tonight. Could you make it a month without going to the grocery store? Or better yet, how about an entire year? Tonight, a local man is trying to prove you can get results and live off only the land right here in Central Florida. In a story all new at 11, News 6's Nikki Zizaza explains why he's doing this for the entire year. Nikki? Why? Well, he tells me it's to bring awareness to wasteful food and bring awareness to where your food comes from. And he's doing it for an entire year. He says if he hasn't grown it in his garden or foraged it, he won't eat it. A brief stroll through this wooded area in Orlando. This is the biogas. Is where you'll find Rob Greenfield's tiny house tucked away. This is actually kind of luxurious. I mean, I have everything I need. Um, electricity, you know, fresh water, food growing all around me. In this small 10 by 10 space, the 32 year old kickstarted a challenge to survive for a year eating food he has either grown in his garden or gathered. Today's day 94 of the year and I can say that this is not easy. Every day is challenging. Some days I want to give up. Homemade canned foods to satisfy all his caloric needs. This is mango vinegar. But it's not all about his adventuresome palate. He says it's a movement. Growing and foraging 100% of my food means no grocery stores, no restaurants, nothing from the dumpster. That goes for water too. All my drinking water comes from rainwater. It just falls down off the roof, goes into these uh, rain barrels and then it's purified through here. He says these green leafy vegetables straight from his garden have a blend of flavors no spice can match. Whenever I have friends over to eat, they always really say it's delicious. The sustainable advocate saying this is a reminder the world can sustain us without machines. Today we're so disconnected from our food. You know, most of us, we just go to the grocery store, we buy our food and we never really think about where it comes from how it got to us, the people that were behind it. And when nature calls, he's got that covered too. And of course, this is the toilet paper, and it is incredibly soft. Ultimately, Greenfield says it's about freedom. To some people, this might seem like roughing it, but for me, I, I got everything that I need right here. Rob says the most challenging part is convenience, and he says he knows this isn't for everyone, but just bringing attention to it is enough. Reporting in Orlando, Nikki Zaza, Getting Results, News 6.